Hello there, I'm Dr. Jim Collins. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day. I appreciate it. My topic today is one that I've been very interested in for a while, and uh, a lot of our clients have been asking for more information on vascular dementia. So that's my topic today. Vascular dementia, a quick review. While Alzheimer's disease is certainly the most common cause of dementia that we are aware of, and it receives the lion's share of attention from the public and researchers, clinicians. Vascular dementia is the second most common cause of dementia. And sometimes people don't really know that, so that's an interesting fact. And it occurs in between five and 10% of all cases of dementia. So with millions and millions of people having dementia, that's still a lot of folks. Vascular dementia is characterized by a decline in cognitive abilities caused by health conditions that either block or reduce blood flow to various regions of the brain. And then we know what happens there. It deprives them of needed oxygen and nutrients. Poor blood flow then damages and eventually kills brain cells. Some experts actually prefer using the term vascular cognitive impairment rather than using the term vascular dementia. So that's a new development. Vascular cognitive impairment. Maybe take a look at that, Google that term and see why people are actually uh, preferring it. But from what I've read, the cognitive changes that occur with vascular dementia can range from mild to moderate to severe and profound. Therefore, vascular cognitive impairment just seems to make more sense as a term. Let's talk about some symptoms. Signs and symptoms of vascular dementia may appear suddenly after an individual suffers a stroke which blocks major blood vessels in the brain. They too can appear from mini strokes or multiple mini strokes. Vascular changes in the brain can also coexist with changes associated with other types of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease and Lewy body dementia, another very important and interesting type of dementia that people are asking more information about. Making the clinical picture more complex and diagnosis becomes more difficult. Symptoms depend largely on the severity of blood vessel damage and the area or areas of the brain that are affected. Memory loss may or may not be a sign of vascular dementia, unlike Alzheimer's disease. But it depends on where the damage is located in the brain. Some symptoms may be obvious after an individual has had a stroke. Post-stroke changes in thinking and perception include confusion and disorientation, difficulty speaking and understanding speech, sudden headache, difficulty walking, poor balance, and numbness or paralysis on one, uh, one side of the face or one side of the body. When many strokes are involved, symptoms may not be as noticeable at first, and that usually is the case. Over time, though, thinking changes may gradually deteriorate as damage in the brain begins to build up and accumulate. Small vessel disease, that's another interesting um, disorder. Take a look at that one, if you will, or Google it, which is associated with multiple mini strokes, is characterized by impaired thinking, impaired planning, poor judgment, uncontrolled laughing or crying, a decrease in attention, inability to perform socially, and language difficulties. And that's my take on vascular dementia, a quick review. 
I'm Dr. Jim Collins, and as always, I am so grateful that you take the time to watch my videos. Take care.